factor the trinomial x squared minus 8x minus 20. Okay? Now the first thing we're going to do, we're going to copy the x down here. I know x times x is x squared, so copy the x down right here. Okay? Now set up our little template. We want the factors, okay? Numbers that when you multiply together, you get this. Okay? Go back and look at this again. How many x squares do I have? One of them, don't I? So 1 times negative 20, you're taking this times this, and you're writing negative 20 here. So I want the factors of negative 20. When you multiply two numbers, you get negative 20. And when you add them, you get this number right here. So this number is right here. So what do I want? I want two numbers that I multiply to give you negative 20. And when I add these two numbers, I'm going to put a number here and a number here. When you add them, you get negative 8. So the first thing I want to do is list all of the factors of 20. Okay, 1 times negative 20 is negative 20. All right, so not just of 20, I want it to be a negative 20, okay? And since the largest one is negative, when you add them together, you'll get a negative 19 here, okay? All right, so the larger number has to be negative. So when you add them, you get negative. Remember, we're looking for negative 8. So if I add 1 and negative 20, I get negative 19. That's not it. Now we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over here. The next number after 1 is 2, and 2 times 10 is 20. And remember, I want the larger one to be negative. Now 2, 2 plus a negative 10 is negative 8. This is our, this, this is our answer right here. But just to show you, 1, 2, 3 doesn't go into 20. 1, 2, 3, 4 goes into 20 how many times? Okay. So if you had, uh, if your sum was a negative 1, we'd be using these two. In other words, if this was a negative 1, I'd be using 4 and minus 5. But because it's negative 8 right here, I'm going to use the 2 and the negative 10. Now notice, when you multiply 2 times negative 10, you get negative 20. When you add 2 plus a negative 10, you get negative 8. So these are our two answers here, okay? Now the 2 goes right here, and the negative 10 goes over here. So that's my answer. My answer is going to be x minus 10 times x plus 2.